How many times have you heard blasting through the radio, through all channels around you, books, audiobooks, TVs, messages like you can do it. All you have to do is set your mind to it, believe it and you can do it. You can achieve greatness, you can achieve amazing things, you can do it. Well, my question is, you have a lot of motivational speakers barking these messages, you can do it, and you have on the other hand, you have Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, who said it plainly, without me, without him, you can do nothing. So, these two are very conflicting messages. So, which one is true? Which one do you believe? The motivational speakers who says who say, whatever you set your mind to go, go for it, you can do it. Or do you believe Jesus Christ who says, I have a plan and a purpose for your life. And without me, you can do nothing. The problem with motivational messages is that they try to force from the outside inside a message that sounds good but is completely false because the reality is if you go in your own strength after what you want there comes a time when you will burn out you will have used your entire energy and you will burn out the bible clearly clearly says that unless the lord builds the house unless the lord watches over your work. Those who do it, they labor in vain. So if you go on the motivational messages road, you decide what you want, you go for it in your own strength, you pump yourself up with words that actually are hollow because deep down in your core you don't believe it. If you are honest with yourselves, when you say, I can do it, I can do it, deep down your spirit says, no, you can't, that's, that's not the right thing for you. Or do you choose to believe the Almighty God and his, which he says, I have a plan and I have a purpose for you. I have chosen you, I've known you by your name and I have chosen you from the foundation of the earth. And when the substance, the seed, the word of God, Jesus Christ, goes deep in your innermost being he becomes the one enthroned in your heart and then in your life it becomes a reality what paul writes i can do all things through christ in me so jesus christ in you becomes the substance of the truth of the plan that he has for you so when he reigns in you he comes with the plan for your life. He comes with the purpose and the destiny that the Almighty God has for you. He has created you. Now He reigns in you. He will give you the guidance. And He will provide the guidance for you to walk on that journey. When He comes in you, He becomes the fuel, the, the, the fire that never consumes, that burns in you. And He becomes the fuel that drives you that pulls you towards the fulfillment of the plans that he has for you because he created you he delights in you he knows how he formed you and he knows what is best and what is ideal for you to go and achieve into your life so which ones do you choose do you go after the self-help hollow words that actually they do more harm than good because they glorify the self, they glorify hollow ideas, but the plans and the purposes that God has for you, they have no idea what they are. You many times have no idea what they are because had you known the plans and the purposes that God has for you, you would not be asking what is my purpose, what is my destiny, where am I going, what am I doing with my life? So the journey begins with surrendering your life to Jesus Christ, allowing him to reign 
from the innermost being in you and out of the substance of God, of the almighty God in you, he will begin to unfold the plan. He will begin to unfold the purpose. He will begin to show you step by step the journey. He gave you the word to light up the way for you to go. He gave you the Holy Spirit to guide you on your journey. He gave you the fuel, the eternal life in you, the fire that never consumes to propel you into your purpose, into your destiny. But it is not of your choosing. It is His choosing, His design, His calling, His process, His plan. And all you have to do is obey the Holy Spirit, obey the word of the Lord, stay in the track, in the path that he has given you, and he will give you all things through the Holy Spirit in the innermost being, and you will then be able to live out. You don't need any motivational messages. You don't need any empowering or empowerment using hollow words from outside. When you have Jesus Christ reigning in you, the resurrection life that's in you, the undestructible seed, the resurrection life in you, it will propel you to the fulfillment of your purpose, to your destination. My spiritual father said, uh, said an amazing things, thing. He said, the most tragic thing you can that can happen in your life is to become successful at what you were never designed to do. So, going after your own ideas, those ideas most of the time have been imposed by the social environment, by the people around you. If you become successful at what the Almighty God has never designed you to be, that's the worst tragedy you can encounter in life. But when you submit yourself to the plans and the purposes of the Most High God, you surrender to Him and you say, Lord, make of my life a miracle. You have everything you need in Christ Jesus in you to achieve the plans and the purposes for your life.